uh, is that uh, what is the best thing about independent wrestling in general right now, and what is the worst thing in turn? Um, I guess the best thing would be just that there's a lot of good guys out there. I mean, there's a very deep talent pool, and what makes independent wrestling different than the WWE is that you're, you know, you're right there in the action. Like you're, you're right there, front row seat. You're legitimately right there in front of the actor. There's not a bad seat in an indie show. Uh, you can usually in an indie show, the wrestlers are much more personal to the fans. Like the fans can talk to a lot more of them and make a connection with the wrestler more. I think those are the best things about indie wrestling. The worst thing, obviously, is the stuff that kills indie wrestling, which is the numerous horrible promotions out there because I really do believe that if a casual fan, not a wrestling fan, but the casual fan, which is in my opinion what you need to try to get into your show if you want to be successful, if they go see one horrible indie wrestling show, they will never come back to one again mm -hmm. because they'll always associate indie wrestling with what they went and saw and when you lose those people, it's almost impossible to ever get them back. And the really bad places, they are, in a sense, killing the indie wrestling business because any show is going to draw some people. And if any of those people are casual fans and they see that stuff, then the ball game's over no matter how good your show may be. Right. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. I, I...